<laughs> PB and J was waiting for it. <laughs> he gave me the little signal. Like, yep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Shout out to Smash Studios. They're yeah, great. Absolutely. They're 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 housing me. Hopefully they're I, selling I got, some I got apparel level. so I can uh, get a get a hoodie. Can I can I get a hoodie? Or I a want shirt? a bag, PB. Yeah, okay. he'll talk to us later. We're gonna jump into this match. Right, we got go Wadi, right Mewtwo versus Diddy Kong. As you all know, Wadi just got picked up by Smash Studios. Xanadu regular MDVA ranks number two on the power ranking. He's a definitely up and coming. Probably one of the one of the strongest Mewtwo's out there yeah. in comparison to like Abadongo. Oh yeah, man. Mewtwo is Mewtwo at the end of the day, man. It's a very, very good character, and this character needs very strong representation. Mm -hmm. And so with that being said, it's exactly why we picked up Wadi here. Now, uh, looking at this matchup, Diddy Kong can definitely give Mewtwo some troubles, but the same could be said the other way around. More specific, when uh, King James finds himself off stage, we know that the maneuverability that Mewtwo just has in his arsenal, I mean, just his aerial combat, that fair, that nair, it, that, that could be a dead Diddy Kong very, very quickly. Oh, agreed. Now we see Wadi trying to approach with that forward air, hoping that King James is going to jump into it. We're seeing a lot of rolling from both characters here, and they're getting away with it a little bit. Like, he just rolled and got that grab now. He's got Wadi off stage there a little bit. It's okay. He's just going to air dodge to get back onto the stage. Great use of down tilt. Uh, Mewtwo's love using oh, the... Oh, wow. He and I thought we patched that. Did we patch that? I swear we patched I that. I thought we did, dude. Okay. But, oh, man, you, you know what? When you get caught by an up throw on the top platform of Smashville and you don't double jump out of that, like, you'll, you're you going to get hit and killed. And, unfortunately, Mewtwo is just on the lighter end of things. So, you know, that, that was going to kill very, very early. Oh, that very, was very disgusting. Nice. Wadi, my God. The up tilt right into the up smash. And King James giving the DI of the gods, living it. But let's see if he can, he's not going to go for the up throw that time. He's not enough percent not enough rage that's okay king james is gonna pull onto the suck as much as he can he probably doesn't want to stale it for the most part and i definitely understand but he's gonna go for the up throw there still Ooh. not gonna be enough to to take out that stock now there's one thing i wanted to touch on a second ago man the down tilt that diddy Kong has in his arsenal we all know that Mewtwo has a bit of an issue getting his feet set and if he could find a way to sneak in more down tilts to possibly whatever it is he wants to do mm -hmm. that could be a dead wadi i agree and we're seeing a lot of down and side views coming from wadi just kind of Mixing up uh, Diddy a little bit here. He tries to throw the banana peel at him and gets reflected right back into his face. Mm -hmm. he's, oh, oh, no, that was unfortunate. You see, King James, what happened there is he got caught in that neutral air mm -hmm. and he was DIing down, but then he was too far to the right side of the stage, so he just fell to his death. And when you're Diddy Kong and you're fast falling and you're all the way down there, like, you're probably not coming back, unfortunately. Diddy Kong's recovery could be doing some more work, but well, you know, we'll see what happens. He was, he was putting up quite a fight before that happened Listen, against Wadi. There's always game two, my brother. There's always, always game, game two. two. There's always big house. Yeah, there's, al there's, there's always, always big, big house. house. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> you came in here from all over the world three days. You always got big house under your belt. Now, I, you, you touched on the Nair a second ago, and I know it, it's a difficult thing to deal with, uh, especially fighting Mewtwo. Off stage, but more specific on stage, if I think if you short hop the Nair, it turns the opponent backwards, if I'm not mistaken. And I know that that is just not fun to deal with at all. I'm surprised Wadi let King James come, uh, take him to FD. I mean, it's a good stage for Mewtwo as well. It's just I know Diddy Kongs thrive on Final Destination. They have all of the room in the world to place a banana peel and control all of the stage. Mm -hmm. But as we're seeing, Wadi seems to be the one in control here. Yeah, he is, man. Kind of spacing out King James, if you will, man. Really keeping him at bay. Oh, that was so slick. Catches him with that up smash. He's dead. That is one cooked monkey, man. He got sent past that moon into the earth. Oh, my goodness. And the Mewtwo just gameplay never ceases to amaze me here. And we see this uh, banana peel combos. You know he practices against this matchup all the time. He's out of jumps. King oh James in a goodness. very that bad spot. A, oh, my goodness. Wadi. He said, say hi to Harambe, my brother. <laughs> say hi to He's Harambe. He's done. <laughs> he got sent to the dead. You know, we got PB. <laughs> PB. PB, please. You going you gonna to hook me up with the, with the Smash Studios back? He's hey, not. He, listen, he's not.